Hey everyone, it's Brett Holland from Athletes Rehab. Thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to discuss the results from a new research study comparing the hang pull to the trap bar jump squat and their impacts on performance. So stay tuned. So before we get into the research study, let's just clarify what the authors mean by the hang pull. So the hang pull is an Olympic lift variation. You basically start from your knees, accelerate the bar up to about chest height. The advantage is you don't have to catch the bar, so it's a little bit less stressful, obviously, on the shoulders, which is important for certain populations, like this was a study done on swimmers. And then on top of that, it's less technically demanding, meaning a lot of the Olympic lifts are hard to learn, and basically the hang pull eliminates a lot of the learning process. Uh, they compared that to the trap bar jump squat, which is the trap bar is like a hexagonal bar and you hold it right by your sides and they just jumped with the weight. And this was a 10 week study. Total participants was 18, uh, four males, five females in each group, about 20 years old, a year of training experience. The study was uh, volume equated, meaning both groups basically performed the same number of reps. Probably a small difference in volume load. If you're familiar with the term volume load, it's basically the repetitions times the weight. The difference being is that, you know, the hang pull group at the end of the study used about 70% intensity. The hex bar group used about 20% intensity. So if you have two groups that both do 20 reps, but one group uses heavier weight, one group uses lighter weight, there's most likely a difference in the total poundage. That is what's called volume load. So there may have been a small difference. I don't know because we don't know the exact weights these guys used in the study. Basically, they followed four weeks of high volume. Then they went into four weeks of more intensity focused. And then they did a two-week taper, which was really cool because they used kind of like a wave-like pattern, which is similar to what I use for my vertical jump program uh, online for the beginners. And the loads for the hang pull and trap bar were chosen based on the percentages that have been identified to maximize peak power. This is the sample training program they, they performed. Basically, they either did the hang pull or the hex bar jump squat. And then after that, they completed just a conventional weight training program, which included things like the back squat, the Romanian deadlift, alternating bench press, cable row, things like that. Basically, the results were that there wasn't really any statistical, statistically significant differences between groups. Uh, you'll see here the hang pull group improved their vertical jump by 3.9 centimeters on average. The hex bar group improved, or trap bar, I should say, 3.9 centimeters. The squat jump group, uh, in terms of evaluating the squat jump, which is basically a vertical jump, but if you just paused at the bottom instead of going down and then up, you're just starting from the down position. The hang pull group improved 1.7. The hex bar group improved 3.4, so almost double but didn't reach statistic, statistical significance, probably because the sample size was so small. The authors did find a medium effect size. Effect size just basically takes into consideration the magnitude of the difference. And then no differences uh, in be between rate of force development or any of the measurements of force. So take home is basically both can be used as useful training tools to improve jumping ability. Uh, the jump squat may be a good way to basically improve your starts from a standstill, which is things like getting out of the block and sprinting, football, things like that. That just is following the principle of specificity, meaning if you practice the jump squat, you're probably going to improve the jump squat, right? So that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more stuff from Athletes Rehab.